the king and will not be. I am the I am the king and king king and will not. Yo, what's going on guys, Witness2k back, and in this video, I'm giving you my top 10 basketball YouTubers. Now, before we get into this list, I want to explain sort of the rules, I guess, to this list. Um, the top 10 are going to be YouTubers that I frequently watch. Um, pretty popular YouTubers, you will probably know most of them, if not all of them. And the list is, if I were to have, if I were to start my own team, this is the order that I would pick them in and I will explain why as I name each player. So just wanted to give you a heads up on that so there's no uh, further questions. But starting off with number 10, we have King of the Fourth Quarter. Now, no disrespect to King of the Fourth Quarter, but I pretty much just chucked him in because I had a top 9 but couldn't really get a top 10. And I haven't seen much of the King of the Fourth Quarter play. I know he played in high school. And I've seen him do some 1v1s with his girlfriend, which really isn't enough to, you know, sort of rate him as a player. But I just thought I'd chuck him in because I really just couldn't get a number 10 spot. So, king of the fourth quarter is at number 10. And at number 9, we have Cash. Um, he is obviously rated really low on my list. Um, probably a lot higher on some people's list. But, you know, there's a few reasons why he is so high. Highly rated at a number 9 out of 10, and I mean, no respect to Cash. I mean, I think he's a cool dude, I love his content, I think he's a good ball player. But there's a lot of hype over Cash of how good of a ball player he is, and it all started when he crossed up Flight Reacts and broke his ankles. Um, although that was dope how he did that, and you know, he should have enjoyed it while it was there. But he has officially killed that. He has not done anything to back up that crossover with another cross to someone else. And again, no disrespect to Flight React. Flight Man, love what you're doing as well. But, I mean, he's not the most coordinated person to play basketball against. And that's just my honest opinion. Cash does seem all talk. Um, he does a lot of yelling when he's playing. You know, I've seen him play at SneakerCon and stuff like that. He does a lot of yelling, you know, but not much action when it comes to scoring the actual basketball, which is the main aim of the game. But, um, yeah, again, no disrespect to Cash, but that's why he is coming at the number nine. And at number eight, we have Jessa the Laser. Now, I've been watching Jessa the Laser for so long, and what actually made Jessa the Laser big on YouTube was he started the NBA 2K in real life videos, which was... That's where his channel really took off. Um, but I've seen him play basketball for years now. And obviously he's not the greatest basketball player. Obviously he's a, his main thing is YouTube. So he doesn't have time to be in the gym practicing ball. But when he does play, I mean, Jess the Laser, I think he's about 6'2", 6'3". And he's, you know, he's pretty solid. And he uses his height and strength exactly how he should. I mean... He's constantly backing his man down to the post, which is so smart. And if you leave him open from three, he can knock down the occasional three. But um, yeah, that's why I have Justin Laser coming in at number eight. And at number seven, we have Pretty Boy Freighter. Now, I think Pretty Boy Freighter would be a lot higher on this list. The reason he is only at number seven is because he doesn't play many game situation basketball games. He only really plays 1v1s. I've never seen him in a a 3v3 or anything like that or no 5v5 gameplay videos I don't really know why I mean but from what I can see he can hoop you know he can definitely ball um, but yeah that's pretty much the only reason why I have him uh, low rated on my list is because I just haven't seen enough in game type situation basketball but from the 1v1s man you know he's um, got a good handle of the rock you know he can shoot the 3 the mid take it inside and he looks nice, but yeah, just haven't seen enough in-game actual sort of footage. And at number six, we have Mal, Cash's friend Mal. Um, you know, I never heard of this dude until Cash introduced him. And when he introduced him, I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. But when I saw him ball, man, I think this guy, he'd be up, he'd be up probably between probably second or third with best jump shot in this list. Um, he can shoot the ball from anywhere, and he's damn good. 
Um, he's really good, and I think, um, yeah, his shooting is what carries him. He can shoot that ball from three, from mid. He's really good, so that's why I have Mal at the number six. And at number five, I have TD Presents. And I have TD. Um, you probably wouldn't expect him to be so high up, but you've got to remember this list is if I was creating a, a team like to sort of play in the Drew League or something like that, sort of in a league. Um, TD is such... He's such just an all-round player, you know, he'll just do what he has to do to um, to help the team win, that's what it seems like. If you need him getting boards, that's what he's going to try and do. If you need him hanging out beyond the arc to shoot three, if you need him passing it, you know, that's what he's going to do. He's such a good player where he can just sort of do it all, just to help out wherever he can. I think that would be a really handy addition having on your team. Next up I have Zach or his YouTube channel is TTG, the Traveling Gamer. And you know, he's not a huge YouTuber, he's more of a Twitch streamer. But people are sleeping on this man right here. People are really sleeping on him. I have seen some footage of him and he is damn good at basketball. Damn good, he's such a good shooter. I, I didn't even know who he was. I saw some footage of him playing basketball. I couldn't believe how good this dude was. He is just a straight up baller, shooting, th shooting the three ball, mid range, taking it inside. He's really, really good, and I think a lot of people are sleeping on Zach. So shout out to Zach and what he's he's balling, man. He's good. Next up, we have Trey Good from Kick Genius. Now I think Trey Good. I've been watching Kick Genius for years now, really years. I'm a really long time subscriber to Kick Genius. And Trey is so good. He's so fit and athletic and strong. Um, but he is number three on my list. And it's not really because he doesn't deserve to be number one. I just think the next two people sort of have one up on him. I mean, um, everyone else in this list is YouTubers. So they can't really practice their, their craft with the game because they have to film and edit and stuff. But with Kick Genius, it is their job. You know, they sort of do the um, they do one v ones, they do uh, shoe reviews and stuff like that, and that's what sort of helps them improve their game as well as making YouTube content. So that is why I have Trey Good at number three, and at number two I have LSK Christopher London. I mean, it's pretty obvious if you're making the top ten or whatever. YouTube basketball list, you got to put LSK on there, man. I mean, with his height and the ability for the game, he's so good. He's definitely a player you want on your team. Um, obviously, for his height, he doesn't do probably exactly what he should. He should post up more and stuff like that, but due to injuries and stuff like that, it has sort of forced him to stay away from stuff like that, which I completely understand, but he definitely takes advantage of the three ball which he can definitely shoot mid range you know he's got pretty good handles he can get inside he can you can throw lobs to this man all freaking day I mean if it wasn't for injuries Christopher London um, who knows he could even be in the league in the NBA as far as we know I don't even know but because he was actually playing in England I believe he was playing some pretty um competitive ball in England and that is why he's number two on my list. And number one on my list, another member from Kick Genius, J. Jeremy Jones. Now, a lot of people are probably thinking, how is this man number one? I know his height isn't on his side. I know that. But remember, I'm picking this team. I'm picking these players based off if I were to have them on my team to play in an actual league like the Drew League. Um, now there's one thing, I mean, this Jay Jones, to me, he, he's like a miniature LeBron James. Not even, not even kidding. He's explosive, he's so strong, he can pretty much do everything. Not the best three-point shooter, but if you leave him open, he can definitely make you pay. Um, his pull-up game from mid-range is incredible. Um, and his ability to get inside and pass it is just unreal. Um, yeah, and he's a hustler too. He will hustle the entire game. And that is why he's at my number one. He is such a 
freaking beast, this man. He is so athletic. If you needed him to play 48 minutes, he'd be coming at you all 48 minutes. That is why I have chosen Jay Jones as my number one, is because when you're in that fourth quarter, people are getting tired. Jay Jones, he's going to keep coming at you and coming at you. He's going to keep attacking, pulling up from mid, taking you to the rack. He's a damn beast, and I think, you know, size isn't everything. It is not everything, and I definitely think that he is the best player on this list that I have named. I don't think there's a better YouTuber better than Jay Jones just because of his athleticism and his ability to want to get better has made him who he is and why he is so good, and that is why I have Jay Jones at the number one position. But that is going to wrap up this video for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy. This is going to be my last video before NBA 2K18, the prelude. I hope you guys are keen for that. But thank you again for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, check me out on Twitter at Witness2K17. Comment down below your top 10 list or top 5 or top 3 or whatever. But thanks again for watching, guys. Until next time, it's been Witnessed.